you use a pitch bend and you create this amazing buildup and then the drop comes straight after when you expect it to come. That's the moment when people are gonna be like, oh shit, that drop is not even that good. Hello music producers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're gonna find out three different types of buildups and drops and how you can implement them into your Tech House tracks. Before we jump into FL Studio, make sure to check out my music on Spotify. The link for that is under the description. And also like and subscribe to my channel to not miss out any Tech House production tutorials. I'm gonna give you the example based on three of my tracks. This first one is called Suave. So the first drop I wanted to show you guys is called the fake drop. Let's just, let's just listen to it. So what are buildups and drops? The most important elements in music is the buildup and the drop because this is basically, you can imagine like this, a track goes in waves and a buildup is basically a, a, an incline and the drop is the climax of the track, which is the moment when everybody's dancing, where the energy is the highest, where everybody wants to be there. And if you don't get this combination right between which kind of buildup to choose and which drop to choose, your track is not gonna sound good. Let's just break down this build up first of all. So as you can see, it starts here on top just with the vocals. And they're basically just repeating themselves and then the closer it gets to the drop, obviously you redouble them. Okay, and basically each build up is, is divided into layers. Each layer serves its purpose. And let's say if you just have the vocals and the hi-hats, you feel like something is missing. We just want to introduce those elements like the bass comes sometimes in. And what's really important here is this one, the snare roll. The difference here is that I use a pitch bend because a pitch bend creates tension. And, and the more elements we add, the more it makes sense now. Now we added this, this like tr triad. And even here's an automation. It's the volume automation to make the plugs louder the closer it gets to the drop. We have what we have here is instrument. Just like strange elements, then we have obviously a riser. And then we have as well here, those are master automations. I usually use them for all my tracks, the master automation, which is basically a reverb automation. So on the master channel, and the more it gets to the drop, the more the reverb gets wet. And the difference between this drop and specific other drops is that when the drop should happen, there's a kind of a silence. We also call this the fake drop. This is like the area where we're expecting the drop, but it doesn't happen. And we just have those elements like vocals and bass introduced and we're just waiting for it. And then it, it kicks in properly. It creates this like strange feeling that something isn't how it should be. And that, it, that exactly that is what makes people love the music. And as you can hear, there is a high pass filter on the master channel. So that's exactly the reason why the bass the closer we get to the proper drop, that's when the bass gets stronger. Another example to show you this is, is this other track where basically there's this drop, you're expecting it, but it doesn't come. So this kind of drop is like there's a silence, you just have the vocals playing and then this drop hits really intensely because you're not expecting it and it just comes in really strange and especially because there's no snare, no clap, no higher. And this specific type of drop, this like fake drop is really, really powerful because 
people not expecting what's coming and then when the drop actually comes they're like whoa this sounds amazing let's go to the classic build up and the classic drop this track is called what's that feeling make sure you check that out on spotify as well this is more like a long build up all those automations As you can see, it has those drum fills and the vocals are just continuing to talk because it's spoken word. In this track, I just used one riser, right? This one here, because I think the more powerful the buildup has to be, the more risers I'm using sometimes because it's like specific layers. As you can see, the leads continue playing after the drop, before the drop. Like it's very simple. It's not difficult. Difficult. There's no pitch bend happening. Um, those chords are also playing as usual. But as same as here, the plugs have a automation which basically makes them louder the closer it gets to the drop. Let's say what the build up is for to increase the energy of the track. One really important element is here, just one bar before the drop actually hits. I take away specific elements from the drums, like the short height. <laughs> And then when the drop happens, it happens in a lot of my tracks, I implement this crash. Just a sample. And before the drop happens as well, I have the same sample reversed. There you go. Sometimes you can even use a master automation on the volume. So when the drop hits, you increase the volume at like 2%, which makes the drop hit even harder. Because for example, if you use a pitch bend and you create this amazing buildup and then the drop comes straight after when you expect it to come, that's the moment when people are gonna be like, oh shit, that drop is not even that good because the expectation is high. And I think buildups is all about expectations. If, if, you're, if, you, if you're creating this massive buildup and the drop is weak, that basically means that the buildup was too strong or your drop was too weak. This track is called Having a Good Time. This is again is another thing. The, the buildup is very, very big and very, very powerful. But then when the drop happens, there's this little silence and that's gonna make the drop even hit harder. Sorry for the lag and by the way, I use a lot of plugins on this track. So as you can see here again, there's this little silence just before the drop. And then basically this kind of silence makes you think, well, what happened? And then the drop hits really, really hard. And that's really important because if there wouldn't be the silence, the drop would just follow naturally after the buildup. But because the buildup is so powerful already, the drop doesn't hit as hard. And this little silence before the drop makes people think, well, what's happening here? What is the music? What, is it? what happened? And then the drop hits and you're like, whoa. And this is like exactly what you have to focus on. And if you're able to create this build up, create a little silence just before the drop happens and then the drop hits, the same drop is gonna sound five times better.